This is a tutorial for Illustrator CS5 and the new bristle brush. Now there are a number of brushes in Illustrator, uh, but CS5 has introduced a new one. And if you go to the brushes palette, new brush, you will see now an item here, bristle brush. Now you can create one there, a new one, but if you go to the brushes palette, you actually see there's one brush, one available brush. Um, so you can select that one. If you select that, you can just paint with the brush. So I'm just going to do... Now, the brush colour is actually the stroke colour there. So if I say select that to be green, and then just paint with that. You'll see the green brush there. Now, one of the easiest ways, the bristle brush is actually quite slow. So one of the things best ways to uh, use the bristle brush is to actually use the layers. Now the layers are very useful because if you just paint with the brush, so just paint the green and then go to a new layer, say so go to blue, paint blue. Now maybe obviously at this stage it's not particularly such a slow a sort of reapplication of the brush but uh, if you've actually got say 30 or 40 or 50 brush strokes after a while the uh, illustrator will slow down the best way though to go around that is using layers so you just keep adding the brush strokes to different layers or maybe two or three to each of the layers if you wish but you can separate them of course another thing is if you actually apply them as layers you can also then see just make one layer visible get rid of a brush stroke if you don't like a brush stroke or you can change or you can animate it very easily Obviously, if you've actually added hundreds and hundreds of brush strokes into the uh, a single layer, you can't actually easily uh, edit the bristles. So, I'm just going to now quickly show you the delete that. And let's like say, unfortunately, brushes here. You've actually only just got one brush, so uh, not exactly a great start. But if you click on that, you actually will see the various options. So you can double click on that, and you will see the so you can change the size, bris bristle length bristle density the actual display I've never actually found very effective I must admit the uh, the actual option display there you really can't tell the difference so you've got various settings I mean they actually look very similar to be honest so if you actually want to experiment with it I think the easiest way is just to actually draw brush stroke go there click on that again and then change it with the preview on so brush thickness length you can actually change it there it's actually I think much more uh, observable than uh, seeing it via this little small little uh, display um, right and also you can see all the various other round point round blunt various brush shapes right click cancel that point but you can if you actually want to explore the other brush libraries that come with Illustrator you've actually got open brush libraries and They've added a bristle brush brush library. So I'm just going to select that. Oh, that's a bit mouthful. Bristle brush library. Right. So you've got a selection here. So you can just select those, click on those. As soon as you do that, they're actually added to this uh, documents brushes library. So uh, you can, but basically all they are are just the settings. Now, I said the bristle, you can actually combine bristles. So I mean, you can just obviously apply multiple brush strokes to create maybe slightly more dynamic brushes so you can just keep applying those increasing the depth of the color do that of course you can also like say create your own I mean if you wish you can actually go to new brush bristle brush and then you get all the settings as before and you can just create your own if you're not happy with any of the particular settings that come with uh, illustrator cancel at that point right so that's the basic setup for the bristle brush um, there are many other ways to do it you can of course apply it to uh, text as well as pass as well as using it as a brush stroke it's basically is everything you can do with the uh, a normal brush but it uh, gives a sort of more realistic brush stroke not really on par with say like painters brushes but uh, as a nice vector or expression as another one application that's uh, quite uh, good for uh, brush strokes like that 
But uh, Illustrator is, uh, yeah, it's quite a good feature. New addition to CS5. Not available in CS4 or CS3 and all those sort of versions, so you have to get CS5 if you want the uh, bristle brush. <laughs>